Hello everybody, it's Elena. I decided to send my Christmas wishes to some friends and uh, I'm sharing with you what I made. Uh, first of all, I made this card using this greyish bluish cardstock to which uh, I added this lovely image of the girls in front of um, a Christmas tree and uh, two um, flowers cut from a wedding applique, a piece of Chinese, of gold Chinese braid and I punched the six uh, snowflakes out of white cardstock and I colored them using this metallic acrylic effect which is metallic paint, uh, acrylic paint coming from in a form uh, of um, a pen. I squeezed, I squeezed some paint on, the, on my finger and rubbed and rubbed all the flower, all the sorry snowflakes. I just added um, a flat back pearl in the center of each snowflake, and uh, I'm pretty pleased of how it turned out. Then I decided to make three fabric post postcards. I, I've seen fabric postcards all over YouTube, and I fell in love with them. Let me say that all the three fabric postcards I made are built up in the very same way, which means uh, combining a piece of felt with a piece of scrapbook paper. Oh, the sun is getting in the way. So I'll show you the back of the first one first. The message I'm covering is written on the back, as you used to do with, uh, as we used to do with. Uh, uh, how can I say, regular postcards and I added this piece of lace to give it uh, the feeling of a, a curtain and uh, I edged all the back with this gorgeous edging trim and added four in the corners, four um, flat back buttons or flower centers. On the front uh, um, I covered the base with a uh, cream satin and I added a layer of um, ivory tool and then in the center I put this image which comes from this paper sorry I dropped the paint which comes from this paper by La Stamperia they are tags actually but the shape uh, but the, um, the size was perfect for, fa for a fabric uh, postcards so I cut I uh, covered the upper part and uh, you can't see the wear tags. I put this one in the center, this image in the center and then I started to build up the decorations using this gorgeous um, lace then some uh, wedding appliques all over here all around the image and I added individual pearls on this part and then this gorgeous delicate brown lace and uh, I edged the image with uh, a, um, some pearls and uh, two pieces of this gorgeous little uh, trim which is perfect for edging too and you, show, you see the, some parts of the wedding appliques showing here and there and I cut a doily made in half and uh, put it in diagonal and finished it with this uh, genuine vintage lace and uh, uh, with another genuine vintage um, lace I, I made a sort of a tassel fasten it, fasten, and fasten it with this um, you can call acrylic fla um, flower center or acrylic flat back button and this is my first fabric postcard. The second one, for the second one, I, I've used once again an image from the paper I've shown you. And this is it. I put the image on one side this time. And uh, I didn't cover the, uh, the base of felt because I knew uh, nothing was to be seen as I put many things around uh, the image. So first of all, I built up all the embellishments here with wedding appliques and uh, these are white. No, these are, are not actually wedding appliques. These are pieces from 
um, a table runner I found at the flea market and uh, I put some wed two pieces of wedding applique, a doily and a piece of an from another doily and they are both genuine vintage and uh, just add a bling in the center, some pearls here and there and uh, I framed the image um, with this gorgeous um, dark flesh pink or um, light brown is a, a wonderful trim this beaded trim a little flower and uh, all the postcard uh, was framed first I forgot to mention it with this beautiful uh, gathered trim which is perfect for edging and the back of the postcard I wrote a message there too and I finished all the sides with washi tape the last one I used an image printed on from Pinterest because this one is colored, has many colors and uh, in the image and uh, it is for a person I know likes colors. So this image, uh, of course I had to restrain myself from overkill because when there are colored image I tend to add lots and lots of color to the card and this time Luckily, I managed not to do it. So I just framed, I put on the base some, you can't see it very well, I see, I think. It's just some very delicate satin, uh, pink, salmon pink satin. It's very pale. Well, at least we call it salmon pink. Probably it is a dusty pink or something like that. And uh, I framed all the postcards with pieces, again, pieces of genuine vintage lace. And uh, I just uh, cut a piece from uh, a gorgeous lace from, guess who? From Sue Tansy. <laughs> she spoiled me rotten. And uh, I cut a piece here to give uh, this shape an arc shape, added just two pearls, flat black pearls and this button in the center and I put a little piece of uh, this gorgeous gold trim and two pieces of um, a doily. I, I took a, a small doily made and cut it in half and added one half here and one there and then uh, just a piece of uh, this teardrop pearl trim and I built, up, I built up the sides using a spray, a Christmas spray of berries I found at a hardware store near my house and uh, the back which has a message too is lined again with washi tape I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you uh, so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.